Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first. Chief Minister of the Northern Territory, Michael Gunner, travelled to Groot Island to sign implementation plans under the landmark Groot Archipelago Local Decision Making Agreement. Alongside Chairperson of the Anindilyakwa Land Council, Tony Wurmaba. Today, we see Andiliakwa people take control of housing. You are taking control of the things that are important to you. More jobs, more housing, a safer place to live. These three plans will respectively um, transfer the Northern Territory government to the traditional known as Office Archipelago. The first three priority plans that were signed included the Housing Implementation Plan, the Economic Development Implementation Plan, and the Law, Justice and Rehabilitation Implementation Plan. The Andiliakwa people are creating a central point for housing. It will be a community housing model and they will be able to pick up under that, underneath that the tenancy management as well. So this will see a transition of anti-government housing stock here on the island across the Andiliakwa people. Today with Youth and Justice, they'll be building out here a facility. They'll have a local law and justice committee and they'll be available as a diversion site. So they've identified 17 to 25 year old males as a real target area, uh, a massive area of concern. They want to get in that diversion. So before there's a crime committed, before there's sentencing, they want to get involved with local um, men here and work with them. Today it's really exciting as both a local member, as a minister and as a family member to see the hard work that's been happening here in the Anadiliakwa land of Groot Island and Bikinan Island. So the Groot Island archipelago has been working extremely hard in terms of local decision making and looking towards the future of the service delivery and the projects that are going to be determined by Anadiliakwa people, for Anadiliakwa people, with the process of Anadiliakwa decision making. Kids and youth who are having trouble and look at multi, multiple reasons why that's occurring. Um, so there's a whole range of responses that are required. And certainly having families working together in a suitable environment that's familiar to them, but also removed from the community in a place which is really great to live in. That will work much better than sending a kid over to Berrima Jail and locking them up. Chief Minister Michael Gunner and Minister for Aboriginal Affairs and Workforce Training, Selina Yubo, visited 12 new houses nearly completed, funded by the Anindilyakwa Land Council and the newly established Anindilyakwa Housing Aboriginal Corporation. The transfer of decision-making and government service delivery to Aboriginal people on Groot Island is a step towards taking control of their own affairs with formal recognition of community-led approaches to law and rehabilitation, economic development and housing. Aboriginal TV, Channel 4. Putting Aboriginal news first.